Hey guys, welcome back for another Brow Edit tutorial. In this tutorial, tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add your own custom BGMs, so background music, and how to actually get that compatible with uh, the Athena client, and to make sure that it runs smoothly. So the first thing you, you can notice here is I have just a generic song over here. It doesn't really matter what it's from, just a generic song with a, a specialized program called MP3 Bitrate Changer. This is completely free. I highly recommend it. What this does for us, what the bitrate, what the bitrate changer does for us, is it changes the options or the the parameters in the in the song, which I'll show you right now. So if I go to details, you'll find that the bitrate for this is 320. Well, Athena deals with deals with a bitrate of 128. So, or, or I should say the the uh, the client, a regular client, deals with 128. So we we'll need to change that to make sure that it it's compatible. So the simplest way to do this is to use bit MP3 bitrate changer, which I will provide as well on the tutorial uh, description of the video. So I just run this. You'll find it's pretty simple actually. All I gotta do is select compress to bitrate. So change that to 128. Input our audio files. Let's browse for that. And just select the generic song. Now you can see that it, it already has the output ready. It's gonna output to our documents. So we could change that to our we can change it to the desktop to make it a little bit easier for us. So just hit desktop, save. Let's change it to some name we can become familiarized with. So let's just call it generic song underscore uh, 128. Okay, you know what? Just call it generic song underscore compat. You can always change this name later. We just don't want the names to interfere with each, with one another. So that's going to be a generic name compat. Say save. And it's ready to go. So we have our input song, our output song. Compression's ready. It's estimated to be this high. We can actually preview it if we wanted to, just to make sure if it, if this is correct. You could you can preview the you could preview it if you really want to know what it's going to sound like, and then hit convert when you're when you're satisfied. This is this fine. Don't worry about that. Sign, it's still free. You just got to pay it if you want some other features, which is really not needed. You just got to wait for 10 seconds for this. Okay, so 10 seconds is up. Hit continue. The converting bar goes up. Once it hits 100. You should see this mesh pop compression completed. Just close that. Close that. It's fine. Who cares about that? And here's your converted file. If I open this again, properties, details, you should find that the bit rate's different, which is what we want. And it should be and it it, sh it should be it should now be compatible with your Ragnarok client. So I can just delete this generic song file for just to this one. Right. Uh, just as a just as a reminder, if you're ever going from a lower bit rate to a higher bit rate, so if you took a song that had a bit rate of 56 and you want that to be 128, you will have a loss of quality. You will not have a loss of quality if you ever go from high to low. So just keep that in mind. All right. Next, how do we actually get this into our our client? How do we get this compatible so it's now running it with a, within our map? It's pretty simple. So the first thing to do is get to your Athena server if you are running a server. And uh, particularly, go to your uh, to your server configuration. So here's the file that's responsible for a GRF that holds all my server configuration. That's that's actually given out to the um, to the users. And what we're going to change is a certain file. It's going to be handling our MP3s. Okay. So we're going to look for a file here. It's called MP3 Name Table. Just open, it. and you should find a whole list here. Now you can see that that maps correspond with their BGM names. Okay, that's how it actually works. So you have the name of the map, and then the then the name of the, of the BGM. Because we have, we have we have a custom map here. Let's just say that our custom map was called custom. So we would say custom. rsw with the number sign BGM slash slash the name of our song. So if we go back here, minimize that. And we go. It's, and let's say we call it generic song. It would be this. Um, actually, just to, just to be on the safe side, let's um, put an underscore in here, just to be safe. And we can put here generic underscore song dot mp3 with the number sign, and you're done. So all I gotta do is pretty much redistribute this to your players with an updated a GRF file that contains that information, and. Also, of course, add your map to the server, make sure that's in, and distribute your BGM. Now, when you distribute your BGM, that could be through <coughs> a simple patch that goes straight to your BGM folder. So, what, what not, but you're responsible for that. So, you just got to get them to grab, grab your song and make sure they have that edited MP3 ta named tables in the core GRF server files, and you're done. 
and your song is now added, and it's com definitely compatible with the with the easy, uh, with the client, the Ragnarok client. All right, all right, that's it, and uh, thanks for watching.